to start with we have this um, Vagabond jacket and in this case what happens is through the normal map this is a red normal map or pink and it runs through and it breaks it breaks because it's not working because it needs to be a purple normal map to work with the BSDF now this solution is something that can be fixed with rust tools so you actually have the rust shader from rust tools and if you were to plug in just this and plug in the normal map which you don't need here so let's just plug in this you can see that it will automatically work with a red normal map um, and you also with the rust tools one just need to make sure you plug in the alpha you'll get the desired effect from the normal map but another way just to show all case scenarios here is you can have the BSDF you can have it plugged in just as it is um, if you don't have this I'll make sure to put it in the discord showing what it does um, what you'll do is you'll go to your UV editor here again this is another tip because blender can be a little bit weird open any image then select this little pin so you can click any of these and it will show it now you can see whatever one you have selected is currently showing so under the normal map click N and a little utility panel will pop up once you have this installed it says convert from pink you can do it on multiple channels <laughs> even custom this is built by Lenoco and if you have pink you can just click convert this will now convert it and you can just save as or override override will replace the image here with the purple one what I need to do is make sure that it's working which it doesn't have its actual color or anything and even talking about this normal map quality it's not very good so if we were to just assume that we had none of it which is probably a good start to be honest if we're talking about making something for quality what we can do is we can find an image online that has um, fabric let's start with the fabric uh, a fabric normal so you know a whole fabric texture you can get it from polyhaven anywhere if i just type in fabric in my search and i bring in a fabric normal it will look like this and then i can plug this into the normal it won't work but then add a normal i'm going to add a normal fix because I've made a fix for the normal map in 3.6, but it's fixed in 4.0, so I wouldn't even worry about it. What you'll see is a lot higher quality because of the resolution being 2K, and the normal map looking a lot better because of the normal fix, but at one... Right. If you have Node Wrangler installed, which you should if you use Blender in any capacity, you see Node Wrangler here, I'm going to click that. You can click on something and then click Ctrl T. It will add this, but you only want the mapping in this case. Um, these are the texture coordinates, so if it's generated, it's not following the UV. If it's following the UV, then yeah. If it's coming from the camera, then it's coming from wherever the camera is. If it's windowed, etc. Don't worry about all of these a lot. Just use UV or generated to start. Um, so with generated into mapping into color ramp, what I can do is I can split it up with a separate separate. I can't speak. Separate X Y Z in here in the mapping as it needs to be before, and this will segregate where it's coming from so obviously if it's on the Z it can gradient up and down which can be super useful for making skins just texturing in general um, tone fade colors maybe you've got two browns that you need etc this is a great method just for basic color as you can see um, mapping can get a lot more complex but the rule is basically just the coordinates out of this Oh, here, here's the location, here's the rotation, here's the scale of it all. Um, and it's math, so it's a little bit confusing. Of some leather, or some cloth, or some sort of base color that's going to provide more than just, you know, one hue. 
I'm going to go back to fabric. I'm going to find a fabric texture that links with my normal or is somewhat similar, like this. And then I'm going to give that example with um, Node Wrangler. So, Control T. So it's already on an image, so it knows. And this is set to UV. So, obviously, if I'm going to control the scales, it's going to change the scales of the fabric on it. And these in unison can be if I took this fabric with this mapping and plugged in the vector they are now controlled by the same one meaning it will scale the normal map at the same time that it scales the fabric base texture bring that back down um, roughness is probably the last thing just for the start of this to explain because roughness is a huge impactor not just are some parts dictated by a map that will be metal for example maybe the zips are metal and other parts aren't and it can say just make the zips metal through a mask or a roughness map um it'll also dictate that one thing is just not a constant roughness at a value grab so the roughness map from your fabric or whatever you downloaded and just whack it in i'm gonna type in fabric and find a fabric of roughness and i'm gonna click it i'm then going to plug it in and show a really really useful and neat feature with no wrangler by control shift and then clicking as you can see over here you can see my buttons as i do it you will just show this so if i go back to the bsdf it's showing everything running through the bsdf and then just this texture you can see the roughness so if i was to plug this back in get a color ramp plug the color ramp in and then go off of the color ramp again you can see my buttons here control shift click i can change the dial on it for the roughness see it click here again control shift click and it will bring me back that way when i'm looking at the roughness i can say how much is it dialed in either here visually or how much is it dialed in here visually i would say you want some control on your jacket so what you can do is you can just put a color ramp or a hue or some texture like that let's say a color ramp between and you can dictate your colors so here what we can do is we can say we want this to be like a, a, an orange right maybe an orange jacket and again it's a color ramp so certain parts of the jacket within the information of the texture itself will be running through the color ramp so it's now parts in the fabric will be black and parts in the fabric will be orange and you can come to saturation here control that alpha I don't need to worry about that um and yeah value you know strength and hue will change the okay so just at the end here now that we have this type of texture set in with a basic understanding of how we got here um just to make sure that you cover more grounds for uh, making your skins look better or whatever you're doing you want to keep some of the original details that's fine just add in a mix node set it to color and plug it in you'll notice that when you plug this in here this actual texture diffuse texture from rust it, it mixes it so it's a little bit abhorrent so here's full at a value of one and here's the other one full at a value of zero obviously if they're in between it's mixing them these are like photoshop multiply darkness it's just math functions to make sure that you get different results so obviously if we do multiply it's multiplying them which means even at a full value it's still keeping parts of the other one unlike a mix because it's multiplication so let's say you want to keep a look like i don't know this maybe you want to keep this color more to uh, a red or a black or something You can do that. You can control these four boxes between these pieces now that you have it like this. Um, and then for the original normal map, because maybe you want fabric, but you want your folds, you want your details, etc. You can go ahead and just add the normal map you'll get from Asset Studio. So let's open this. I'm going to add the normal. And um, what you'll see is you'll see that. Um, the normal fix isn't going to work here because I need two normals to go together and that can be quite confusing but another thing in the discord again make sure to come into the discord because all these things will be shared is in the group there is a normal combined and the normal combined is as simple as plugging in one 
and plugging in another one and just plugging in the normal. Now you keep the best of both worlds, but you just channel it in. And the roughness is not appropriate because you can see that roughness will affect normals. Um, just to show here, if I have no roughness, then don't really see any of the normals because of the cavities and everything. If I have full shiny, you can see all of it. So with this back in, just like before, we can see that it's too much. Let's just dull it the other way. And get it to a point where I can still see those details, but just a tiny bit. And now this is all um, ready to change on the fly. So colors can be dictated through here. And if you want more colors to be dictated through the original one, you just do the same thing. Copy the color ramp and drop it in. You can now see that you can control certain factors on it. And another good one is, let's say you want to do this. You can put a hue in. So if I just type the hue, drop that in here. You can change the hue on the coat, but obviously they're being mixed. So it's... Uh, a little bit hard to see without getting it how you want but if you were just here you can see that it's changing the full hue on the jacket so there is definitely any way of mixing and combining things to get the result that you want um, and yeah this is just a cursory glance at it but soon there will be levels to it as people improve i'm sure it will get more complicated through the tutorials 